Hello everyone, in my previous video, I showed you how you can set up your pixel using Pixel Your Site on WordPress. In this video, I will show you how you can set up custom events for your pixel. If you still do not know, the main function of the pixel is to track events and actions on a website. And also collect information about people who are doing those actions. When your pixel has collected enough information, your campaigns will be automatically optimized and the pixel will guide Facebook to find more people who are likely to convert on your website. For example, if the main goal of a website is to have people filling out a form, Facebook will find people who are more likely to fill out a form. Now, enough of the theory, let's put in some work. Uh, before setting up the custom events, make sure you have a thank you or an acknowledgement page for every action you want people to perform on your website. And the reason why I recommend this is because if you do it based on button clicks, it might be a little bit glitchy because even if someone has not filled out the form correctly, that can be counted as an event and you want to work with the most accurate data possible. So here we are on WordPress. You should be familiar with this page. This is Pixel Your Site plugin, and this is the page that you usually see after clicking on the dashboard. Today, we're gonna work on the Events tab. If you haven't set up your Pixel yet, you can watch my previous video, and there you will learn how to do it. So here on this page, all you have to do is scroll down a little, and you see you have the option to add an event. And then you can name the event what you want. I'm just gonna choose the name Booking Form Submission, and I'm gonna fire the event on the page visit. And that's why I'm using a thank you page because when users fill out a form on my client's website, they go to a thank you page. And every time a user lands on that page, you'll be counted as an event. The URL for the thank you page is this one. So I'm done with this part. And now I'm gonna enable on Facebook. To enable on Facebook, I'm gonna use custom event. And the name that I'm gonna choose is the same that I used to name the event. You can add parameters, but since it's just a contact form submission, we don't need to worry about that. And after that has been done, you can just save the event. And that's it. You can see the events here, it's listed. So to test it, I'm gonna go to the thank you page and refresh the page. You should be able to see it. If you click on it, you can see it right here that I'm running on the page view, but also booking form submission, okay? I hope you like this video and stay tuned for the next ones.